So the state of California gets roughly 65% of its water from the snow in the Sierras. So obviously knowing as much as we can about the snow and how it's becoming water is terribly important. What's at stake is, is that we don't have enough water and we don't know where it is. What little we do have. The National Science Foundation funded us to set up this American River Hydrologic Observatory, which then allows us to uh, extrapolate measurements of this 4,500 square kilometer basin. What we're trying to do is get a full hydrological balance of the snow, which turns into water. So what we really want to know is how much water there is stored in the Sierra, what it's doing and where it's going. So. We measure the snow, we have algorithms to estimate density, making use of solar radiation, which is the energy coming in the system. We have temperature and humidity, so that allows us to make very good estimates of what the snow is doing. And then we can then estimate how it's going to melt and what water to expect. This wireless sensor network, TestBad, forms a mesh network that connected all the measurement points around a one kilometer square area. They are taking a measurement every 15 minutes and the data is transmitted through the wireless mesh network to the base station and then from there get transmitted back to the server at Berkeley in real time. We have the issue of climate change. So if we take an average of the past 50 years and we're starting to get much more rain than snow, it's not going to do us much good. So by measuring in real time and in detail, then we can actually do modeling that's based on physics instead of just based on averages. Because in the end, that's what the uh, hydro people want to know, is how the water is going to be divided up over the year. And it would be the same thing for drinking water supply. So when we're working on the Feather River, besides PG&E having major operations, it's the state water project. So it gives them good information. Maybe they can drop the dam level a little bit, knowing that there's more snow in storage, things like that, that allows them to have much more control and knowledge over what they're doing. <laughs>